Imagine this. A few years ago, I found myself in a high-pressure corporate environment. I was striving to succeed, working hard, but I was still missing something. I realized that despite everything my efforts, I had failed to manifest my ability to navigate through various emotional landscapes with sensitivity and insight, that I had no deep capacity to recognize, understand, and manage both my own emotions and those of others. I had failed to promote effective communication, empathy, and develop effective interpersonal relationships around me. It was only when I discovered the concept of emotional intelligence that my life began to change. Today, I'm here to share with you the top 10 signs that you might be lacking in emotional intelligence, like I once was. Pay close attention, because mastering emotional intelligence can truly transform your life personally and professionally. Without further ado, let's take a closer look at these signs and promise that you will work on them to correct them and become a better version of yourself. Sign number one, difficulty handling criticism. If you feel defensive or upset when you receive constructive criticism, this could be a sign that you are having difficulty with your emotional intelligence. Instead of reacting defensively, try to see criticism as an opportunity for growth. Sign number two, lack of empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. If you have trouble connecting with people on an emotional level or understanding their points of view, this may indicate a lack of emotional intelligence. Sign number three, inability to manage stress. Stress is inevitable, but how we manage it is crucial. If you often feel overwhelmed or struggle to manage stress in a healthy way, this could be a sign that your emotional intelligence needs nurturing. Sign number four, difficulty establishing relationships. Meaningful relationships are built on trust, communication, and understanding. If you struggle to build or maintain relationships, it may be time to work on your emotional intelligence skills. Sign number five, tendency to blame others. Do you often blame others for your mistakes or faults? Taking responsibility for your actions is a key aspect of emotional intelligence. It's time to stop pointing fingers and start taking responsibility for your part. Sign number six, impulsive reactions. Reacting impulsively to situations without considering the consequences is a common sign of low emotional intelligence. Practice pausing and thinking before reacting and watch how it transforms your interactions. Sign number seven, difficulty resolving conflicts. Conflicts are a natural part of life, but how we manage them matters. If you have difficulty resolving conflicts peacefully or tend to escalate them, this is a clear indicator of low emotional intelligence. Close-minded, being open-minded allows us to consider different perspectives and adapt to change. If you feel resistant to new ideas or unwilling to consider alternative points of view, it may be time to develop your emotional intelligence. Sign number nine, poor communication skills. Effective communication is essential for building strong relationships and overcoming life challenges. Through communication, you have the opportunity to share your thought to others and allow others and yourself to understand information more accurately and quickly. If you have difficulty expressing yourself clearly or actively listening to others, this could be a sign of low emotional intelligence. Sign number 10, difficulty letting go of grudges. Holding grudges only weighs us down and prevents personal growth. If you find it difficult to forgive others or let go of past grievances, this is a sign that you may need to cultivate your emotional intelligence. Now I want to hear from you. Which of these signs concerns you the most? And more importantly, what steps will you take to improve your emotional intelligence starting today? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, emotional intelligence is not just a trait. It is a skill that can be developed and honed over time. So, if you are ready to take control of your emotions and release all your potential, hit the like button and share. Watch this video with your friends and subscribe for more tips on personal growth and development. Until next time, 
continue working on controlling your emotions.